everybody. How you doing today? My name is David Franco and welcome to David's Christmas Wishlist for 2022. This is an annual tradition that I've been doing for years, years upon years. Okay, so I act like I'm 80 years old, but I am in my mid 30s and I just gonna make this clear. I'm in my mid 30s. Yes, I just repeated myself because I just wanna make that super crystal clear for people who don't get it. Uh, this isn't a video just saying, you know, I want this, I want that. I'm an adult. I make money, I pay my bills, and well, if I want something, I can typically buy it for myself. I mean, as long as I'm, you know, financially responsible, of course. But that's just my point. I am an adult, so I get it. Some people might not agree with this video, and that's okay. That's okay, I'm not exactly making this video for people's approval. Um, I make this video because it's tradition, and I quite literally have thousands of people who look forward to this video every single year, and not only that, but my family quite literally requests a list for me because I'm kind of that guy who has everything. I don't really have everything. I wish I did. Um, but sometimes people don't know what to buy me. So this video is intended for my family and for those who like to try to get ideas for maybe you're trying to get something for someone in your family, a close friend of yours, or maybe you're trying to treat yourself this holiday season because just saying, just saying, Santa Claus might be sending Davy Boy here something special this holiday season uh, because, you know, I, I like to, I mean, you might know, I like to buy myself something for Christmas every year, at least for the past few years, and this year should be no difference. Anyway, this is my Christmas wishes for 2022. As always, I have things broken down into categories. I have the list right in front of me. I have categories for video games, electronics, house stuff, toys, gadgets, and accessories. That's just one category in itself. And of course, finishing it up with miscellaneous, you know, gift cards and all that stuff. Okay, let's talk video games. I'm a huge gamer. I play video games almost daily. I say almost because there are those occasions where I just don't have time. Uh, but as a big Twitch streamer, not a big Twitch streamer in terms of followers, but big into Twitch streaming and just a big gamer in general, I love video games. I've been gaming since I was just a little sperm. Not literally, but hey, you never know. Maybe someday I'll figure that out through some kind of scientific miracle. I mean, I show no signs of stopping gaming anytime soon. I mean, I'll be gaming into my 80s, as long as I live into my 80s. But anyway, um, I'm just asking for two games this year. Number one, God of War Ragnarok for the PlayStation 5. Now guys, I get it. I could easily buy this myself. Quite literally, nothing is stopping me from buying it right now on Amazon and streaming it by early next week on Twitch. But, but... I want to give my parents some kind of idea for the video games category. Uh, so I figured why not ask for God of War Ragnarok for PS5. Unfortunately, it is $70 and not 60. Video games are getting more expensive and not less expensive, but it is what it is, you know? I mean, God of War Ragnarok did win multiple game awards this past week, and I think that's great. I'm not a huge game awards person, but the fact that it did win some game awards says something. And God of War on the PS4 was incredible. Actually, so incredible to the point that there's now a permanent dent in my coffee table downstairs in my living room because I raged and I slammed my DualShock 4 at the time into the, the uh, table. And yeah, anyway, Ragnarok for PS5. I'm sure it's going to be incredible. And if I do get it, then I'll stream it live on Twitch. Okay, game number two. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I actually played this for a little bit on my gaming channel. I don't really focus on my gaming channel too much right now because I'm primarily focused on this channel and creative finance. It's linked right below. Hey, if you're not subscribed, please check it out. That is my completely and 100% transparent channel in regards to how much money I make doing what I do, whether I'm streaming live on Twitch, making YouTube videos or whatever. Anyway, Kirby and the Forgotten Land on the Switch. From what I can recall, the demo was incredibly simple and basic. Kirby has always, I mean, at least in recent years, has always been a very childish and simple game. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I do prefer a challenging experience, but sometimes I just want to kick back, relax, and just enjoy the Kirby, the, the, the pink ball for what he is. And from what I recall, the demo was a lot of fun, and I definitely want to play the full game live on my Twitch channel. And by the way, if you're not following me on Twitch, it is linked right below. Check it out. Thank you so much. Electronics, baby. I love me some tech. Number one, I actually asked for this last year. I ended up not getting it. I know I sound like a five-year-old kid. Mommy, I asked for this, but you didn't get it for me. You suck. You're a terrible, terrible mother. No, I just never got it. And yeah, I could have easily bought it for myself, but I just don't really think about it during the year. 
So I was trying to think of like one main gift to ask for this year because typically my parents get for me and my sister a main gift each year. So this year I figured why not ask for the Google Nest and Yale lock with keypad. So it's kind of what it sounds like. It's a keypad door lock for my front door and it could work seamlessly with my Google Nest Hub devices. I love my Nest Hub devices. And actually, I love them so much that I don't even really use my Echo devices too much. The only Echo device I have activated right now is the original Echo Show in the kitchen. And even then, she, she doesn't get much usage. She just kind of sits there and shows me news, which is cool, which is cool. But me personally, I'm a huge, huge fan of Nest because I have Nest thermostats, I have two Nest Hubs, I have Nest cams around the house. So to have a Nest lock, that would just further make my um, house more smart, which is great. And speaking of Nest, number two, the Nest Outdoor Cam with floodlight, the wired version. I don't want solar. I want something wired if possible. Okay, so as you probably know, I have like 28 cats I take care of. Okay, but seriously, I have like six cats plus one cat, actually six, seven, eight cats I take care of outside and currently two cats inside if I counted correctly. So yeah, in other words, I have a lot of cat activity out back on my deck and it would be nice to just keep an eye on them and just know when they're here and when they're not here. And I figured, you know what, why not ask for another Nest Cam uh, just to integrate with my smart home. So you gotta love it. Okay, moving towards the category of stuff I don't really need. Not that I really need a Nest Cam, but a Nest Cam is definitely useful. Another dual sense controller. Yes, I have, I think at this point, one, two, three, four, four or five dual sense controllers and i only really use one or two of them but that's because i'm a collector and guys honestly the same exact thing goes for xbox controllers i have like four or five xbox controllers i don't use i just like to collect controllers because i'm a huge gamer i'm a huge tech nerd um so i'm asking for the dual sense controller in midnight black yes midnight black yeah i get it that's definitely one of the more boring colors or technically lack of colors did you know black is the lack of color and white is all the colors combined which is pretty cool. That's why black is the hexadecimal value of 0000000. 000 000 000 000. The more you know. Anyway, Midnight Black I think looks pretty cool. And speaking of dual sense, another one I'm asking for is another dual sense controller, but this one in Starlight Blue. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. Not my favorite when compared to like Cosmic Red and the pink, Nova Pink, I think it's called. But Starlight Blue, in my opinion, does look damn good. The only dual sense controller I don't want is the new camo one. Not a big camo guy. Isn't that weird? I don't know, like a lot of people seem to be into camo patterns on controllers and clothing. I'm just not a big camo person. Never have, probably never will be. I mean, it, it's cool for those who do like camo, but me personally, I don't, I don't get the hype. I think it's kind of ugly. I mean, I'm just more of a fan of these simplistic colors. And speaking of controllers, let's go to the other side of the gaming spectrum. Xbox, baby, I love me some Xbox. So I'm asking for the Xbox controller in electric volt. In other words, Kind of lime green-ish. Lime green is my favorite color, for those who don't know. I mean, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful hue of green. And I think it could look great on an Xbox controller in my house. Would I use it every day? Absolutely not. But much like the DualSense controllers, I'm a collector. I like having as many controllers as I can. So the more, the better. Okay, moving on to lighting. I love me some Govi lights. Now behind me, you'll see some hue lights. Actually, you can't, you can't really see too many hue lights because it's more of an ambient light effect I'm going for, if that makes sense. Uh, but that one might be, actually that one is a hue bulb in there. Um, and th that shade of blue you see behind the chair is a hue bulb, I mean, I mean a hue light. And back there is another hue light. And I have hue lights over there, over there, and back there. So guys, I love hue, but that's the thing. Philips Hue is not the only lighting brand that in my opinion you should pay attention to if you want something potentially as good as hue but you want to pay half the price or maybe even less than that check out govi i love govi i have govi lights on this desk govi lights over there govi behind my cubes over there i have govi lights downstairs on my first floor and in the basement i'm a huge huge fan of govi so i'm asking for these govi neon rope lights very very interesting take on the whole I guess nano leaf, but Govi is doing their own approach, which I think is pretty cool. And these lights just look beautiful. So I figured why not? I mean, guys, honestly, you can never have too much RGB in your life. And if you say otherwise, you're wrong. You're wrong. Simple as that. Sometimes it's okay to be wrong. 
Next up, and well, last but not least, an Apple AirTag. Me being the Apple fanboy that I am, isn't it kind of shocking I don't have an AirTag yet? I mean, one, I'm typically pretty responsible. I never lose my stuff. Uh, so it's not like I'm gonna lose my MacBook Pro or iPhone or anything like that. But with that said, I think it is a good idea for everybody to have at least one of those location devices on you. I mean, it doesn't have to be an AirTag. It could be a tile or a product from any of these other companies. Uh, but me being the Apple fanboy that I am, kind of makes sense to get an AirTag. Okay, so what will I put it on? I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea because I don't typically lose my stuff. I'm typically a pretty responsible human being with a brain that function is, that function is. Haha, <laughs> that, David, maybe you're not as functional as you think you are. Anyway, I'm saying that my brain typically functions pretty well, so I don't lose my stuff. But why not have an AirTag? Okay, next up. A very fun category, not really, but uh, house stuff. Number one, windows, blinds, and curtains. I, I say windows, blinds, I should say window blinds. Um, yeah, blinds and curtains. If you look at my vlogs, you might notice like rods in the background on the top of my windows, throughout my kitchen, throughout my living room, throughout my office. It's just, guys, I've had this house for what, like four years now, something like that. Um, and one thing I've never done in those past four years is buy myself blinds. I'm sorry, I would much, much rather put money towards coffee and iPads and iPhones and whatever than buy blinds slash curtains. Um, but hey, this is something I asked for last year. I never got it. I think my mom planned on getting me something or Kristen wanted to, but it just never worked out. Uh, so maybe I'll get them this year. And hey, you know what? You guys have my word. If I don't get window blinds or curtains this year, then I'll buy them in January. I promise, you know? Remind me in the comments on the next weekend vlog or whatever. I mean, after Christmas, that is to buy blinds and or curtains if I don't get them for Christmas. And the second and last thing in the house stuff category, it's not really for me, is for the cats. I love me some cats. This is an automatic cat feeder for two cats. I've always wanted an automatic cat feeder for several reasons. Number one, Maui tends to overeat, then he kinda blech, exports out of his mouth, let's just say. Because he doesn't know when to stop eating. And it comes up whole. I'm like, Maui, you gotta slow down. So that could be great to keep Maui's portion control under control. It's kind of redundant, but you get the point. And the second reason I want it is because, well, first of all, I mean, it's two cats. That makes sense. It's just common sense that I want to split up the food between Maui and Zero. But not only that, I often have the kittens, as I like to call them. I mean, they're quickly turning into adult cats. But they come inside and sometimes there's not enough food to go around for everyone out of just one bowl. So if I can split up the chaos into at least two bowls, then hey, that's a win-win in my book. And that's it for the house stuff category. Number four, the fourth category is toys, gadgets, and accessories. Actually, no. I'm not gonna tell you what that is because that's related to what I might get myself for Christmas from Santa Claus. Stay tuned. So that I will not be featuring in the link right below, and I'll talk about that more in a bit. Actually, I don't have a clothing category here, but I just want to throw this out there. I love hoodies, and I can't believe I'm admitting this on camera. I think I might want to give Crocs a try. Guys, let me know in the comments. Are co Whoa, I'm <laughs> are Crocs <laughs> really as good as people claim? They look incredibly dorky. And I've kind of laughed at people wearing Crocs over the years. It's just, it's a very nerdy look, but I'm a nerdy guy, so who cares? Like, Crocs and socks is just a terrible, terrible look in my opinion. But, but, I've heard they're incredibly comfortable, and I just hear they're good quality all around. So I think I might want to finally give Crocs a try. Call me crazy, guys. Call me crazy, but I'm crossing over to the dark side. Uh, so, Crocs. Those I will not be linking right below because that's more of a thing I just want to tell my family. Anyway, last but not least, the fifth category, or technically fourth if you don't want to include toys, gadgets, and accessories, miscellaneous. Uh, number one, San Francisco Bay Coffee. I love me some San Francisco Bay Coffee. It's incredibly, incredibly rare. I go a day without having it. Seriously, I love it that much, guys. It is by far my favorite single serve cup of coffee that you can get. Not only is it more of a premium tasting coffee than your typical donut shop, Dunkin' Donuts, or whatever brand you prefer to get K-Cups, but they're so much better for the environment. These plastic K-Cups that you're buying end up in the landfill, and they're so 
many of them out there. Now, of course, I'm not claiming to be perfect, and occasionally I'll have a plastic K-cup at my parents' house, but if you can, try to avoid those K-cups. They're just horrible, horrible for the environment. Uh, so try to go with San Francisco Bay. Yeah, I mean, it's just a more organic approach, if you want to call it that. And plus, their flavors are just great. I love them so much. Next up, Amazon gift cards. Do I need to go into detail of why I want Amazon gift cards? I don't think so. It's Guys, it's Amazon. Everything's on Amazon. So Amazon, to me, is just like free stuff. I, I thought Zero was here. It's, it's my hoodie on the floor. And finally, last but not least, you guys absolutely killed it last year with both physical cards and virtual cards, in other words, email, door dash gift cards. Yes, I realize not everyone's a fan of food delivery because it is overpriced, I admit, but you know what, the convenience is worth it sometimes. You just don't feel like putting your clothes on, you don't feel like going out and dealing with traffic and all that stuff. So me personally, as someone who lives and works at home, I love DoorDash, it's extremely convenient for me. Um, so DoorDash baby, last year you guys killed it with like, I think over $300 in DoorDash credit. And by the way, I did share the love from those DoorDash credits. Not all of that money went to me. I bought my mom and dad dinner a couple times. I bought Chris and his family dinner in New Jersey last year, technically earlier this year. So I like to spread the DoorDash love, if you will. Uh, so hey, DoorDash gift cards, guys. It's the way to my heart. It really is. Anyway, there you have it. I may have missed one or two things, so I'm going to end the video with this. My Christmas wish list is linked right below on Amazon. Everything that I mentioned that is on Amazon is linked right below in that idea list that Amazon calls it. So check it out. It's a great way to see what I'm asking for for Christmas. And please, one more quick reminder, this is not my way of asking you guys for anything, so please don't send any of these items to my P.O. Box if you want to send me anything. I mean, yeah, I'll take some Amazon gift cards and DoorDash gift cards, but everything else is intended for my parents and my friends who need ideas from me. But hey, with that said, my P.O. Box is open, P.O. Box 66, that information is right below. Also, speaking of, uh, because I receive gifts from you guys every year, don't forget your gift will be featured in an opening viewer's gifts video, or maybe I'll just include it in this year's Christmas 2022 series. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. It just depends on timing and how busy we are. But either way, your gifts that I get via my P.O. Box will definitely be featured on camera. I can promise you that. Anyway, guys, with that said, don't forget my Christmas wishes is linked right below. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I know I am. My holiday shopping is not done yet. I still have quite a bit to buy. Uh, but hey, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So thank you guys so much. Happy holidays. And I'll talk to you soon.